Continuing on with the decollage experiments, I've taken a different approach. I've got the old Bixler wing and chopped off the ends. Sorry Keith, hope you don't mind, but uh, uh, I love having this extra wing. Thank you very much. Uh, so I've made my little, uh, what used to be a de Havilland hummingbird into a biplane. Uh, and I can adjust the decollage of the top wing. I've got pivots, pivots up there. And I've got a little system here where I can uh, slot the angle wing strut into different holes which gives sort of subtle variation of the decollage and I've got two ranges I can go neutral forward one forward two and neutral back one back two so I'll try out all those uh, different decollage settings and uh, see how we go but yeah there's no flex in this one nice and solid and I can adjust it So that is tilted back a little bit. It's going nose up a little bit more. It seems pretty steady. Seems to be flying nice and smoothly. Alright, let's try a little bit more. Increasing the positive decollage. Going nose up even more. Trim it further forward. the elevator forward a little bit. It's a bit of wind around this confusing things but it does seem to be flying pretty well. I like it. So that's with the most positive. Lots of wind now on the top wing. It's flying nice and smoothly and steady. <laughs> Look at that bounce. Very nice. All right, I'll try some. Uh, I'll go back to the least decolage with this particular setting now. Yeah, it's a little bit more wiggly up and down, I think. Not as smooth. Alright, switch back to 
more positive decollage all the way. Okay, I'm liking it a bit better with a bit of positive decollage. Doesn't uh, jig up and down as much. Here's a stall. I haven't got a lot of stagger. I do have a little bit, but uh, not much. So there's a bit of wind there. <laughs> Fly it backwards. Damn wind. We've got a bit more negative decollage now, so the wing's tilting a bit further forward on the top. So it's going to go nose down. Now that is harder to control. Definitely terrible. It's up and down all over the place. No, I'm getting rid of that. Definitely positive decollage is much smoother. Positive decollage again. And it just feels a lot smoother. Definitely. Yeah, I'm convinced. A little bit of positive decollage is good. So that was great. I'm happy with that experiment. That uh, told me that a little bit of positive decollage, that means the top wing tilted up a little bit more than the bottom wing, makes it fly a lot smoother. If it's tilted a little bit forward, it's a lot more sensitive on pitch. It wants to pitch up and down all the time. We do have a bit of turbulence. There's some wind around, so uh, it was a good test to see how smooth it was, really. A little bit of positive decollage is the winner for me.